I've always gamed at 1080p at high refresh rates because I mainly play competitive titles. But whenever I jumped in AAA games, I always felt like I was missing out on the visual clarity that my PC is capable of. The issue is, I couldn't fully switch to 1440p or 4K because I was worried about the performance drop off in my favourite titles where I'm always trying to achieve high FPS. As getting the highest FPS possible is important for how I play my games. But now, I've finally found a monitor that does both. The KTC Dual Mode Monitor gives me everything I need in one proper package. 4K for editing and casual gaming, and 1080p at 320Hz for when I'm playing competitive titles. This is the KTC H27P6, a dual mode monitor, and some of you might not have heard of KTC yet, but their gaming monitors have been gaining a lot of traction lately, and they're already ranked amongst the top two mini LED brands globally. I tested one of their monitors earlier this year, and since then, they've been dropping new models back to back, they're becoming a serious brand to watch. I've been using this monitor for about a week now, for gaming, editing and all kinds of day to day work, and it's doing something I wish more brands would. Instead of forcing you to choose between 4K clarity or high refresh speed, this literally gives you both. There's a built in dual mode button that lets you switch between full 4K and a higher refresh rate 1080p mode with a single click. Before we get into performance, let me quickly talk about the design. This is a fast IPS panel, so you're getting the colour accuracy of IPS with the speed and response time you'd normally expect from a high-end gaming display. The stand is fully adjustable, height, tilt and pivot, and it's really solid. The bezels are thin, the frame has a metallic look and the panel uses a matte anti-glare coating that keeps reflections under control. Around the back you've got KTC's clean design with their logo lighting and proper cable routing. And it comes with plenty of ports, two HDMI 2.1 ports, display 1.4, as well as USB-C with 90 watt power delivery and an audio jack. Whether you're running a PC, console, laptop or all three, this setup covers it. All right, let's talk about the feature that makes this monitor unique dual mode performance and because it's running on a fast IPS panel both modes stay sharp clean and responsive. In 4k at 160hz it looks incredible for cinematic games. I played Assassin's Creed Shadows and Black Myth Wukong on this display and the sharpness and details are exactly what you want from a proper 4k panel. Motion is smooth, the colours are clean and the whole experience feels premium. But the moment you switch into the 1080p 320Hz mode, it completely shifts into an eSport display. Motion clarity jumps massively, tracking feels smoother, and the input response feels lighter. For Fortnite especially, this mode is insane. Edits feel quicker, flicks feel more controlled, and you can feel the latency drop instantly. There is only one button on the back. This controls the OSD, as well as if you hold the button in for about four seconds, it will turn the monitor off. If you press the button in once, here you can customize the colors to your liking, adjust the overdrive setting, turn on G-Sync slash FreeSync, switch between the different display outs, and most importantly, toggle the dual mode either on for 320Hz at 1080p, or off for the monitor's standard resolution 4K at 160Hz. Color accuracy is another strong point. The panel comes factory calibrated with Delta E under 2 and it covers 99% sRGB with 125% colour volume for editing thumbnails or grading footage. The colours stay consistent, no weird tint, no washed out tones, just reliable accuracy. HDR is solid as well. It's HDR 400 certified, so while it's not on the mini LED level, you still get deeper contrast, brighter highlights and noticeably better depth in darker scenes. Games like Assassin's Creed really pop with HDR on. The neon, the reflections, the shadows, everything looks more alive. In terms of latency and responsiveness, this monitor is fast with a one millisecond response time. Going from 60 hertz to 160 to 320 hertz is a massive difference. And at 320 hertz, everything just feels more connected. Aim tracking, camera movement, editing builds, everything responds instantly. 
Before I move on, I also wanted to show the motion clarity, because this really matters for competitive players. I run the classic UFO test at different refresh rates, and at 320Hz, the motion is genuinely clean. There's minimal ghosting or smearing, even during fast transitions. The monitor also includes a response time adjustment setting in the OSD. Depending on the brand, it's sometimes called overdrive or response time. It lets you fine tune how aggressively the pixels transition between frames. At 4K 160Hz, you can push it higher to tighten the trails. And in the 1080p 320Hz eSports mode, you can keep it at a balanced setting for the smoothest motion. Either way, being able to adjust it helps keep ghosting under control and gives you much better clarity for tracking and flicking. For productivity, the USB-C port is super handy. It sends video, data and charges your laptop at up to 90 watts. I used the USB-C port to power my portable monitor. This is a handy feature especially if your motherboard's rear I.O. is lacking USB functionality. So after using the H27P6 for a week, here's my final take. If you're someone who games and creates, or you bounce between AAA titles and FPS games, this monitor makes your life easier. You get 4K clarity for immersive gaming and 320Hz speed for competitive ones, HDR for better visuals and USB-C for a clean desk setup. It's versatile, it's fast and it's honestly one of the best all-round displays I've used this year. If you want to check it out, I'll leave the links down below. KTC's Black Friday sales are live right now, so you can actually pick this monitor up for as low as £229 or around $299, which is honestly insane for what it offers. Drop a like if this video helped you, subscribe for more tech reviews, and I'll see you guys in the next one.